Hello students and welcome to the Balloon Cable Car Lab to Go video. In your kit you got a straw, a hot dog carton, a balloon, a couple of note cards, and a string. I'd also recommend you have some scissors to make it with and some tape to put it together and to maybe attach the string if you need to. Okay, here's how I made my cart. I took the hot dog carton and cut it in half and then I taped part of the straw to the top to attach it to the string, just like this. Now. I also trimmed the sides to make the balloon fit a little bit better and then I poked a hole in the back so that I could insert the balloon so that it can push the cart forward using Newton Third's Law from there. Here's the setup. So for the string, what I did is I attached it to two different chairs at the same height and then I, I pushed the chairs apart until the string was really tight. You could also use uh, a doorknob or other item and then attach it to another item in order to make sure that it's um, super tight so that the cable car can move along that string. Here's your big reminder though. It's really, really, really important that you attach the straw to the string before you tie your string to the chairs, which is why I showed how to make the cart first. If you tie the string on, you're going to get frustrated because you're going to have to come back, untie it, put the straw on, and then do this. You could attach the straw first, build your cart, and then tape it to the straw afterward. I actually built my entire cable car first so that I could come back and allow it to move along in that way. Okay, so here's an actual uh, video of the setup. I've got my two chairs, I've attached the string, and I spread them out as far as I could and stretched the string out so it's nice and tight, so it's easy for the cable car to move along without the string moving too much. You can see here that the string's really, really tight. Okay, here's a sample. I've blown up the balloon, it's sitting under the cable car, and then I push the balloon right up against it so that the air goes straight backward, so we can follow Newton's third law. I release, and it just gently pushes it along the string. You can see this not perfect. This is partly because my balloon's worn out and partly because the string wasn't perfectly tight. Okay, as a hint, if you can't get it to move across the level string, you can take one of your chairs or one of your items and just lift it up. You could lay one of the chairs flat so that it ends up at a lower spot or you can raise it up and that way your cable car will still move uh, even if it's having trouble being pushed by the balloon. Okay, so here's your next big step. So once you've got it figured out and you've got your cable car moving really well uh, along the string, you're going to want to do some measurements according to the lab. So you're going to you can mark two spots. Uh, you can the string's four meters long, so you might mark them two meters apart. Anything you want, and then you're going to time it between uh, the starting and ending points there. And then you're going to use our velocity equals distance over time equation to find the speed. So let's say I want a distance of two meters and you measure that with your measuring tape and a time of four seconds. We can find the velocity by doing distance divided by time, taking two divided by four, and we find that your cable car was moving at about 0.5 meters per second. You're going to find an average time and then find the velocity in the lab, which works great. Okay, you just want to make sure you're very careful about timing it as accurately as you can. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the lab.